If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be going over a few tips, some news, some info that is coming to Madden within the next day or so, coming this week, coming today. Quite a few things to go over, guys, but before we get into today's video and we go over everything, remember we do have a promo, part two coming out tomorrow, which I'm going to be going over today, too, as far as the players and stuff. But before we get into that, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, boys, come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. I greatly appreciate each of you guys that come out each and every morning and show support to the channel. Greatly appreciate that, guys. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of tomorrow's part two promo, some of the tips as I go through it, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. Now, guys... With the promo coming out tomorrow, not much to be doing today in terms of the promo, but we can go over the players and a few things that we do know in regards to this. So, first off, guys, I want to go over some of the new things that are coming to much. So, the first thing is going to be the alternate playbooks, guys. So, alternate playbooks should be releasing the store around 1030. So, I'm going to go over those alternate playbooks. I don't know about all of you guys, but a lot of people are big fans of alternate playbooks. Some of their favorite plays and favorite schemes do come out of those playbooks. So I'm going to go over to the screenshot, show you guys some of the alternate playbooks. Go over that first before we go into everything else. So here we go. These are the alternate playbooks coming to Madden 21 Mutt today. We got alternate offense. We got the balance playbook, the pass balance playbook, the run balance playbook, the run heavy playbook, the west coast playbook, the run and gun playbook, the pistol playbook, and the run and shoot. Now guys, obviously all these playbooks are very name specific. They do specific things like run and gun to run and gun. West Coast is a West Coast offense. Pistol offense is pistol based. Run and shoot, run balance, pass balance, balance. So it's pretty much just like a mix of everything. So I don't really know which ones you guys like specifically, but if you have a specific one that you've always liked to men, here's your opportunity to go ahead and pick up that uh, playbook. Then we got alternate defense. We got base 4 3, base 3 4, base 4 6, cover 2, multiple. Now, in my opinion, I don't know what the purpose of a defensive playbook would be alternate wise. I usually like a mix, and if they're, if they're one thing specifically, I don't know how useful that could be. Uh, maybe to some people it's useful. Maybe if you're doing like certain challenges against people, it's useful. I could be entirely wrong. I'm just saying, I see the point of the offensive ones, not so much the alternate defense ones per se. Uh, what I would like to see added back to Madden is also the Legend playbooks. Those used to be super fun back in the Madden 13 and stuff, having like Coach Madden, uh, Coach Lombardi, uh, Floors, and a bunch of other coaches. And you got to learn some new, you got to learn some Legend coaches, see what old and pl older plays, how they used to draw them up. And you can kind of like see the progression of route combos and stuff. A lot of shorter routes. Uh, but, I mean, the ultimate playbooks are cool. How much would they go for? I mean, based on current store price, I don't think they'll go for it. I mean, a regular playbook is 250 so maybe an ultimate will be 500 training, uh, 350 maybe 450 I don't see it going for too much, but if it does, that would really suck. But hopefully it's in an affordable range, and we're able to go ahead and see the price. As I say that, I see the screenshot. So we do have them for 250 That is super cool by EA, keeping them at 250 now. I mean, are they expensive to begin with? I don't think they're crazy. But I do know the regular playbooks to go for 250 so I'm happy that they did go ahead and make it that cheap. Uh, so we're able to go ahead and pick up. Oh, actually, offensive playbooks are 150 So maybe I saw it. So they're 150 here, so it's only a 100 increase, which isn't bad at all. Honestly, like a 100 increase, 250 is really not bad. 500 for an alt offensive and defensive. Now, I probably wouldn't even go defensive, so I would just need an offensive. Let's say you pick up two offensive to try out some. Uh, 500 training isn't horrible for two offensive, especially because you use playbooks for so long. It's not like a card you're going to lose money on, you know what I mean? You use those for so long. Like, if you like the Patriots playbook and you buy it, you know you're going to be using that playbook for a long time. I never really have an issue buying playbooks if I need them to win the game. But yeah, that's about it for the playbook aspect. As you can see here, these are two of the players that are supposed to come out tomorrow. This is Miles Garrett and Ezekiel Elliott. Now, them putting Miles Garrett and Ezekiel Elliott together makes me think that Julio may be the LTD. Because there's going to be one LTD and then two uh, set masters, kind of like last time where we got Lamar, we got Tyra Matthew, and we got the Emma Tom Gronk. For this one, I think it's probably going to be Zeke and Miles Garrett as the offensive and defensive uh, set set masters, and then we're going to have Julio as the LTD. Now, it has to either be Julio or it has to be Zeke because it is last time they did one and one and then an extra. So as it is currently, it could not be Miles Garrett as the LTD because then we'd have no defensive. So, I mean, based on this picture, I do believe that Julio probably is going to be the LTD in this. Now, that kind of sucks. Julio is super, super fun to play with, and he's going to be super expensive, and the power pass will not cover his overall because that is an 89. But on the bright side, Miles Garrett should be the best pass rusher in Madden, or at least the best end, and he's going to be relatively cheap. Considering Tyron Matthew and uh, Lamar Jackson, they come down to a pretty reasonable price in comparison uh, to what you think they would have been, like a Lamar Jackson quarterback to start the year. Uh, he was pretty cheap, and everyone has him powered up too as well, which means that you would have thought that would be more of a demand for him. But there also will be like a Mika Fitzpatrick, and a few other lower cards like there were last time as like the set uh, the set pieces. Now, will Mika be good? I mean, I think I like him. I don't know if I'll start him. 
but Mikko will be good for a lot of people. And then, of course, you get Miles Garrett and Zeke, which is super awesome. And then there should be some more solos, potentially getting you some more free ones, and potentially another set method, which would be super, super cool. And, of course, I do that on the channel. But there is more to talk about just besides this. But part two will come out tomorrow, probably around 1030. Will they show stats? Will they release stuff potentially tonight? I, I don't know. They've been a little behind, so it feels like they're really keeping everything close chested because they're not ready for anything just yet. But that's about it for that. Let's head back to the Madden screen. Right, guys, we also have the title update, which I believe is coming September 10th. I believe, I don't know why I'm seeing September 8th in my head, but I'm pretty sure it was September 10th. So if you guys didn't see the title update, go to Operation Sports, look it up. And they pretty much showed the entire thing. I'm pretty sure it was like word for word the entire thing. It's a very, very big update. There's tuning to pass rushing, tuning to running the ball, tuning to blitzing, tuning to pass rush, tuning to offensive lineman blocking, tuning to plays like this, tuning to everything. The game's going to change a little bit. Now, this is part, this, it comes off as like more of one of those like uh, first patches that kind of just like really changed the game a little bit. I don't know. I mean, based on what I read, the game could change a little bit just because it's a very, very big patch of stuff for franchise, or stuff face the franchise. Um, they also did say that solo battles will be being patched because people are having issues. You know, you couldn't play it. Uh, they had to close it down for a bit, as you guys can see. Solo battles has been down. Uh, the date for the fix, I did not believe they said that, but we do know that it will be fixed at some point. Because it kind of sucks. You know, like in the beginning of the year, where you really focus on is playing your season. Oh, you're playing your solo challenges and your solo battles first and foremost, and some of your seasons to get trophies, to get some points, to build up a coin stack. And right now, with the current state of solo battles, you're not able to do any of that, which really kind of sucks for like, people who really want to just grind and play the game. And it's really hurting their early because this is the time to build up your team before the season starts. Because right now is the time where you can just grind, grind, grind. Once the season starts, like school starts up again. You're watching football on Sundays, and then you want to watch games on Thursday nights and Monday nights. And before you know it, and with your friends starting up the fall, colder weather, before you know it, you end up being like being until Madden half and half what you were playing in the summer. So I wish they really had this going on. Also, we are still dealing with players being locked out of mud. I don't even know how it's possible that we're still dealing with that. We are now officially over two weeks into the game since the 20th of the EA Access trial, and we are still having people locked out. And I feel for you guys, all you guys that were locked out, because I was one of the guys. I was one of the first guys. In my, I think I was one of the first guys to even report the issue. I was locked out for five days. Definitely was not fun. I'm glad, I, they, I'm, glad I'm fixed, but I, I understand the issue of the people who are currently locked out, and the situation is not a fun situation to be a part of. Hopefully, I do get a fix for you guys. But guys, that pretty much does cover what I was talking about. We have the Part 2 promo coming. We have the title update, solo battles patch, and players still locked out. Now, with the reveal stats today, I'm not entirely sure. Guys, I will be losing internet for the rest of the day after this video. So, I have a lot of stuff pre-recorded for you. Sorry if I'm a little off date today. Uh, I'm getting fiber optic installed today. Uh, internet, which is going to be great for the channel in the long term. is going to kill my day today, but I do have three videos pre-recorded. Plus, I also have four videos for you guys today. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy them. Show some great support, guys. And I didn't bring the channel mascot on today. He's been sleeping in the lap for the first day's first video. Look at the camera blue. Nice. He's tired. He's a little knocked out, guys, but yes the channel has a poodle now this is the poodle this is the poodle guys but that is about it guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys do a big thumbs up smash the like button hit that subscribe button turn on about boys comment down below let me know what you guys think of the players coming out who you're excited for let me know what you guys are doing right now that's about it thanks so much for watching i'm out peace